This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Also, we'll be starting on networking. That is invoicing. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover, they are. We will see what is invoicing plan. What are the different types of invoicing plan? So we will we'll understand the different types. Then we will understand differentiate between periodic and partial invoicing plans. So what is the difference between these two? We will see. Okay. Then create periodic invoicing plan. And also we will create partial invoicing plan. We'll create both. Carry out the automatic settlement of invoicing plan items. We will see how to do this. Okay. Then customizing of invoicing plans. How to do customizing of invoicing. So these are the topics we will be covering in the invoicing plan. Okay. So first we'll start with the invoicing plan. What is invoicing plan? We will understand. Okay. So invoicing plan is a special type of purchase order. Okay, it's a it's another type of purchase order. The invoicing plan enables you to schedule the desired dates for the creation of invoices relating to the planned procurement of materials or services independently of the actual receipt of the goods or actual performance of the services. So here basically what you do is here you generate invoice automatically at a particular date. Okay, or you schedule invoicing generated generation for a particular date, irrespective of whether you received the material or not, normally, independently of actual receipt of the goods or services. Uh, suppose I'll tell you a scenario like you you uh, you take you took a training room for rental. Okay, so from a supplier, you hired a training room. Okay, a room. So for that room, you need to pay the rental. So you had a, you have an agreement with the vendor that every month on the first of every month I will pay you the rental. So you you will be generating the invoice. So that kind of things comes under invoicing plan. So here there is no uh, we don't have any actual receipt of goods or services. Okay. So this invoicing plan it lists the dates on which you wish to create and then pay the invoices. So in the invoicing plan you will have the dates. The dates on which you are going to create and pay the invoice. You want to generate invoices for the relevant due dates automatically in the background. So you can you can generate these invoices automatically in the background. I will show you this in the system. So basically, your company want to generate automatic invoices on due dates. So instead of generating manually, you generate the invoices automatically on the due date on a particular due date. So that is the basic concept of invoicing plan. Okay, so basically, if you if you recollect our flow, you recollect our flow. Normal our purchasing flow, what you have, you create purchase order. You create purchase order. After that, you will have goods receipt. You will have goods receipt. After that, you do the invoicing entry. You do the invoicing entry. Okay, invoicing entry. We discussed this already in our normal purchasing cycle. This is normal purchasing. Normal purchasing. Okay, but here in the invoicing plan, in the invoicing plan, what happens is you create purchase order. You create purchase order. Okay, but you don't have the goods receipt here. You don't have goods receipt. Directly you will generate invoice. Most of the time it will happen automatically. Automatically uh, on a particular date. Date. So this we will see. So here you create a purchase order and as and when required on a particular due dates, you will generate the invoice and you will pay the amount to the vendor. So that is the concept of invoicing plan. Okay, so let's continue. So now we will see types of invoicing plans. What are the different types of invoicing plans? So there are basically two types of invoicing plans. One is periodic invoicing plan. Next one is partial invoicing plan. Okay, 
So we will understand uh, both of them in detail and then we will create them in the system. So periodic invoicing plan, the just, just like examples are, you, you have a vehicle leasing rates. So every month you want to pay this amount for leasing the vehicle. Okay, example like monthly payment. Periodically, you will make the payment to the supplier, like ground lease. Let's say you have a, you hired a ground, sports ground, let's say cricket ground. So every month you want to pay some amount for that. Or a photocopier rental. Every month you want to pay this amount. Then landscaping, this amount. So these kind of things comes under periodic invoicing plan. Payment of the same amount at regular, at regular at regular intervals. Okay. Next one is next one is partial invoicing plan. So here, basically, you pay the amount in some installments. Total amount payable in installments. So let's say you are going to conduct a market survey. So your total value is twenty thousand euro. So this. 20,000 euro, you divide it into phases. So first, conclusion of contract. Once you make the contract, you pay this amount. Then first initial analysis, then you pay this amount. Then you once you have the survey and the evaluation of survey results, interim report, you want to pay this amount. And after final report, everything, you want to pay the balance remaining amount. So here, you are paying the amount in an installment. So this is called partial invoicing plan. Okay, now we will see these things in detail. So first we'll start with the periodic invoicing plan. So we, we have just discussed the periodic invoicing plan, but let me explain again. The periodic invoicing plan is used for regularly recurring payments such as rental and lease installment payments. So you regularly at a particular date, you make the payment. So that is called periodic invoicing plan in the case of the periodic invoicing plan the net value of the po item is invoiced on each due date so you have a due date on that date you will do the payment okay example of a periodic invoicing plan monthly the monthly rental for a training room is 500 euros so you hire a training room from a vendor and for the training room you make the monthly payment rental you pay the rent monthly. Okay, so that kind of thing comes under periodic invoicing plan. Okay, this is charged to the cost center. Let's say example one, two, three. The rental agreement with the landlord is valid for five years. Okay, the monthly rental is renegotiated annually at the beginning of the year. Okay, you have to transfer the rent to the landlord on a monthly basis and in advance. So in this case, you would use a periodic invoicing plan. So every month you want to make the payment. Okay, so then you, in that case, you will go for the periodic invoicing plan. Okay, so this is the one. So in this case, what you do, you create a purchase order. You create a purchase order with purchase order type EFO. I will show it in the system. So then system will ask for the validity. Okay, so you enter the validity period from and to like five years. If you see here, it is almost five years. Then you will enter the account assignment category, cost center, example cost center. Then you enter the item and you give the uh, monthly amount, monthly or whatever the amount. Then once you have the invoicing plan here, it will propose you all the dates with that amount. See here you see every month on the 30th, you have the you have to make the payment okay so invoices generated automatically so there will be a background program that will be generating the invoices automatically on these dates on these dates so this is called periodic invoicing plan so this we will see it in the system okay so let's go to the system let me log into the system this is the s4 hana system okay I logged on to the system. So first we need to create a purchase order, ME21 here. Okay, create purchase order. So here you need to select a purchase order type as F4. F4, framework order, you select this. 
you give the vendor you give the vendor let's say i'll give this vendor okay now the uh, there is no material account assignment category i will select as k cost center 